I'm Brooke Allen, I know, okay. <laughs> I'm Brooke Allen, I'm a comic book artist. At this point in my career, I'm most popular for Lumberjanes, which is a story about these kids that go to camp and oh, it's like the nostalgia of camp with like a paranormal twist and focused on female friendship. I've done a lot of work for Boom as far as like doing shorts and covers for Adventure Time, um, did a, some stuff for IDW, Powerpuff Girls cover. Being able to work on those properties is great. Um, it's like your inner child is just like, this is a dream come true. As far as I can remember, I've always been drawing. I like to draw Linus <laughs> and draw my dog. Being a little jerk, he's sort of, he's like my mischievous way of like alleviating stress, I think. It's just like, this is Linus like kicking somebody or like this is Linus like kicking a trash can. I like to draw little monsters, like little creature creations and badass chicks. Oh, can I say that? Comics is sort of an outlet, I think, for me to sort of tell my stories, unlike with like film or any other entertainment you're just sort of like a smaller piece of the puzzle. Whereas with comics, it's like freedom to do whatever you want, which is amazing to me. So comics is like, I don't know, freedom. <laughs> I was very heavily influenced by like terrible 80s cartoons. And a lot of times there was a toy and then like a cartoon based just off the toy. It's, it's so backwards, but I love it. I love that. <sighs> I love monsters. Like, I love monster movies. I love kaiju. I love anything that you put a monster in, you've got my attention. And I've been making toys for about three years now. They're all just little monsters that were, they started as doodles, and then I just, I wish I had a toy of them, so I made it. Looks like he's like standing in a bunch of cheese. <laughs> this is his domain of nacho cheese, Velveeta. I love DC because it, it's such a pretty place. I live so close to the mall and like all of the monuments and everything. And on my way to work, walking past the White House, like, hey, Barack Obama, hey, Michelle. <laughs> I was just kidding, I've never seen them ever. But I like to believe they've seen me. <laughs> I've been using Wacom tablets since high school. I think I've only ever had Wacom tablets. It's always been there from the beginning of my, I guess, comics career. I've always had a, a Wacom. I feel spoiled, like, at this point. Like, I can't imagine not having the technology. If someone were to take away, like, all my tablets, it'd be a sad day. It's my trusty little sidekick, for sure. My preferred nib tip is the one with the little gray. Then. I call it little baby gray. It's got sort of a, a tooth to it, so on the tablet itself, it has like a, a very natural feel, and it shows up in your work. If you don't think there's a place for the things that you feel passionate about, you're wrong. There is. You can make a place. Whatever you're making that you're passionate about, it deserves a place. You can make an audience, and an audience will come and just draw every day. Just make art every day. Most days. You can take like a day off, but most days, they're wrong. <laughs>